Hi, who is this? No, who is this? Come on, I ask you first. Well, that's true, I did call your number. But that's just because I was lonely. Do we know each other? I don't know, do we? It doesn't mean anything. I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Do you know who I am yet? So you're curious. Well, that's a good reason to stay on the phone with me, isn't it? Now, I already told you that I'm lonely, and that's why I called you. How about you? Are you lonely? You're not. Well, you must be spending time with some friends. Or maybe a boyfriend. I'm not being creepy, I'm just asking questions. You do want to get to know me, don't you? You don't? Hey, that's mean. I'm not being creepy. I haven't even started being creepy. Don't hang up on me. Wait. I think you want to see where this conversation's going. Have you figured out who I am? Mm, no, I'm not your friend from school. Good guess, though. No, I'm not that guy you have a crush on, either. I wish. Why don't you tell me a little more about yourself? What are you going to do for Halloween? Nothing. No plans at all. Huh. That's surprising. I don't know. You just sound like you like scary movies. You do? Good. What's your favorite? Halloween? The original John Carpenter? Oh, that's a very good pick. I like his mask. Me? No, I don't like watching scary movies. I'd rather make them. Maybe we can make a movie together. Would you like that? You don't think so? Oh, that's too bad. I could make you a big star. After my movie, everyone would know your name. I'm scaring you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I thought you wanted this kind of attention. You don't know what I mean. Oh, I think you do. Yes, I think you do. Tell you what. Let's play a little game. I'm going to make a guess about you. And if it's true, you have to tell me. But you can't lie. If you lie, something bad happens. Ready? Here's my first guess. You live close to a graveyard. That's true. Wow. But there's graveyards all over the place, so I guess that's true of a lot of people. You sound like the type to go walking in the graveyard, though. Do you go walking in the graveyard? You do? I can just tell you like that. You've got it in your voice. Now, when you go walking in the graveyard, do you ever go to a little shrine that some local kids built to someone they call Ghostface? You do? Did you go to that shrine last night? You did. And when you were standing at that shrine, did you say his name three times? You did. Why would you do a thing like that? You don't know. Do you like doing dangerous things? You do. Is that why you're on the phone with me still? Yes, it is. And your favorite movie is Halloween, isn't it? No, it isn't. That's a lie. You told me a lie. Your favorite movie isn't Halloween. It's the one about Ghostface. The one where he calls you late at night 
and he's looking in your window and watching you. Now wait and don't hang up on me. I know you're scared, but things are just getting started. So let me ask you some more questions, and you better be honest. You watch my movies all the time, don't you? Yes. And you love them, don't you? Yes. And when you see me on the screen, all you feel is fear. Isn't that right? That's a lie. You feel something else. I know you do. I can tell by watching your body. There's something else deep down in your stomach. Or even lower than that. You've always felt that way, haven't you? And wasn't it just a few days ago that you were talking to a friend and you said you have a thing for masked men? How do I know? Oh, I know everything about you. The things you like, the things that give you butterflies. And late at night, when you're lying in bed, in the dark, the things you wish would happen. You have some twisted fantasies, don't you? Don't you? Don't you think about things that a masked man could do? And just feel, hmm, shivery. It's okay, you don't have to say anything. I can see you nodding. Wait, don't hang up. Don't hang up yet. We're almost there. Now here's what I need you to do. I need you to step out of your back door. I think we'll be able to have a better conversation outside. Step out. Do it. Good. Now, let's get one thing straight. You had the fantasies. You went to the place. You said the words. You had the thoughts. Now, you getting the call. So, if this were a movie, if this were my movie that I was making about you, what do you think would happen now? Would I jump out of the darkness and grab you? And drag you into the cemetery? Would I confess that I'm your friend playing a prank? Or maybe would I use this little moment of distraction to slip into the house behind you and go upstairs into your bedroom and hide in the closet? What do you think I would do? Come on, don't just stand there shivering. Tell me what you think I should do. After all, it's your movie. I should give you a chance, as in one last chance? Oh, I suppose I can be generous. Here's your chance. You can hang up the phone now. You can go inside and go to bed and pretend none of this ever happened. You can leave it all behind. I'm telling you right now, if you want to walk away, just walk away. But why? Why did you say my name? Why did you say my name three times? Why do you watch my movies? Why do you think about me? And my mask? And what I've got under my robe? Why? Well, that's simple. You do it because you're curious. So if you really want to know about the masked man, if you really want to feel what it's like to be the star of the movie, all you have to do is lie down in the cold, wet grass and let it happen. 
and your curiosity will be satisfied. So what's it going to be?